Den. I'm Smokey Dan, your host this evening, and today we're going to be reviewing an A.J. Fernandez stick called the Nica Libre. And this was A.J. Fernandez's sort of idea to make a cut rate uh, competitor to the Padron 1964 Anniversario series. Um, originally, he even had a label that looked just like it. Um, so we're going to determine if it really does stack up to the legendary Padron tonight. Uh, this particular cigar is the um, torpedo size. It's technically a 6x52, but it feels to me like the smallest 6x52 I've ever held, and I think that's because it has this really super Lego press to it. Um, as you can um, as you can see, it's a Maduro wrapper, San Andreas Maduro wrapper, Habano binder, and all Nicaraguan filler. Um, on first glance, it really does feel and look like a Padron 1964. It has that same sort of toothy looking but very silky feeling wrapper. Um, not really very veiny. Uh, it's definitely a little bit darker, I think, than the 64. With my new camera phone, it may be hard to tell. But uh, in any case, let's uh, give it a sniff and see what I think. I have to say that all in all, I am a huge fan of A.J. Fernandez's cigars. I've smoked one of these before, and I sort of had mixed feelings, so I wanted to give it another shot. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't find any decent lighters or decent matches, so I'm stuck with a Bic. Please don't give me too much flack for it. There's nothing wrong with the Bic. Yeah, that's what I keep saying, anonymous cameraman, but there are definitely some people who don't believe me. It's a butane lighter, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm. First puff initial reaction, it's got a little bit of earth um, and a fair amount of spice, but also some pepper. And usually to me, pepper and spice are very similar, but it feels like they're uh, two distinct just pepper and spice flavors, which is a little bit odd. Not bad, just odd. Exceptional draw. Yeah, a lot of a lot of pepper and spice coming in in the front to back palette, and then in the very back palette, I'm just getting a, a little bit of a trace of chocolate. Also, got some earth coming in in the top palette, and through the uh, sinuses and the retrohale. A little bit more of that chocolate. I'm getting the chocolate and the earth on every other puff. Uh, it should it should uh, sort of balance out. Mmm, it's, it's getting tasty. Um, body wise, I would say so far it's medium to full body, but I got a few inches left to smoke, so we we'll see how it pans out. So. We'll see in a couple of seconds on your YouTube screen. And yes, those are All right, and we're back with the review of this Nica Libre Torpedo. And right off the bat, I'm going to tell you, I'm impressed, and I was right. Those chocolate, earthy flavors have really sort of come together. Hmm. But, I don't know, a quarter of the way in, the spice started to die down a little bit, and now it's sort of in the backdrop, all these beautiful chocolate and earth flavors um, are, um, are really just kicking in and kind of dominated the whole cigar. Um, ash has been beautiful, a little bit gray, chunky. Um, the draw has been perfect. The burn has been perfect. Perfect. 
there's really nothing to complain about this cigar. It's terrific. Um, the question, I guess, would be, is it a true competitor to the Padron 1964? And the answer is no. It's got the beautiful flavors, but it doesn't have quite the nuance of the 64 that makes the 64 just so legendary. But it also doesn't have the price tag. The 64, you know, this is that's a, a 16, 14, $16 cigar. This cigar is a $4 cigar, and word to the wise, I picked up a 20-pack on Cigar Bid with shipping for $40. So I was paying, I paid, two, you know, $2 and a few pennies for this cigar, which, bang for the buck, it's... Unheard of. Took the words out of my mouth. Um, zero to ten... I'm going to give it a an 8. No, no I'm going to give it an 8.5. Excuse me. It deserves it. Um, and from what I hear, this thing is fresh. I've had it for a week. I've heard these things get amazing once you've um, you put them in your humidor for about six months, which I plan to do for, well, most of the rest of mine. Um, but at the price, even at three times the price, I would say this is a no-brainer. It is just fantastic. Mm. Mm. The chocolate's really kicking in here at the end. Um, and it's just, God damn, this is a good cigar. A.G. Fernandez, as with every cigar I've ever smoked of yours, my hat's off to you. I don't know how you do it. Um, but I'm going to be smoking more of these with a lot of pleasure. So until next time, keep smoking whatever you're smoking. See you around for the next week.